I have myself here the Blink Outdoor Camera 4. I think uh, the difference, if you want to look really quick to see what ones you have, is where the eye is actually located of the camera. Uh, it says it lasts up to a year. Oh, I guess this one says two year battery life. Is that too bright? Two year battery life. I have other people that have the same model and they get about six months out of it with a 30 second recording. We'll go over the settings, setting up with the app and uh works with alexa i don't know if it works with google or not two-year battery life it does have pretty good battery life compared to some others i have a lot of google products right now and um they last about 30 days but i really tell them to give me a lot of content um record more than they should because why not you don't want to have less than what you really need for information and then you're sitting there wondering all day why did that cat go into my storage shed or something so I just let it record the whole video it is heavy that was weird is that a slip? oh that should have been a slip out instead of a slip off but that works <laughs> okay Getting started with Blink is easy. Download the Blink Home app. Hopefully you guys can read that from there. I'm using a new uh, new GoPro. I went away from GoPro. I'm with DJI now. Oh, look how small and cute it is. Sync module. I don't know too much about these. I was just wanting to give them a try. So that sync module is something new to me. I have a lot of like crap on it already it doesn't weigh anything this is little oh it's got scratches on it already can you guys see that yeah right it's like a there's like real scratches on this part not this top part looks like there is a mount hole in the back is this is this the charge port That just pops out. USB-C. I like that it has double double rings there to keep it waterproof. Um, I actually have a person that nailed this to a tree with whatever mount is in here. And the sap actually got all over this. The lens looks like it could easily be touched and ruined. If like a bird started pecking at it or something. You can see the lens on my Googles. You really can't see it. That looks like it's going to be a speaker. You can see the lens, but not I like that one. Look like that could be probably the microphone, the lens, or that could be the microphone. That's definitely going to be a speaker, something back there. Normally I don't get to the product first, but that's how it worked. Here we got this sync module, USB there usb a five volt five watt one amp micro usb which is really out of date a little bitty scratch below it that is never going to show on camera it's on the white right there they could have been wrapped in some type of something but regardless, they're probably going to get scratched anyways. This must be you just plug it into the wall. be cool if all of them sync to this and to your internet. That way it's less strain on your internet. It looks like a power logo and a Wi-Fi logo. I guess the rest of it will be in here. That's it in the box. Looks like we got some mounting options. Comes with real batteries. Holy cow. Energizer batteries. Does that mean that thing pops apart somehow to put these energizers in? Are they energizer for... Not for retail trade. So they are special. They're super light. So they're like a cheaper version of what you'd normally get. I'm wondering if that opened up a batteries in it. but Okay. That looks like that goes in there. does there we go there's one mount 
pretty stiff. I like that. There's no tightening adjustment on it, but it's pretty stiff. It popped off pretty easy. It'd be nice if after that goes on, you screw a nut and these dig in a little bit deeper. Looks like it's a two hole mount. It has more screws holding it, holding that ball in there than it is on whatever you're tying it to. But again, this is this is light. I think most of the weight was just a combination of all this stuff. What's that do? Well, that's some type of mount. You know, hang it, hang it on a clothesline, maybe? And it's got a condescent thing in there. It's kind of weird that was in there. Should be in with the camera, not in with this. Okay. What we got in this one? Most likely a, some type of charge cord. Here's the instructions. I'm going to be setting it up with an Android. And that's basically it. I guess there's a little bit right there that'll tell you operating temperatures. There's really good operating temperatures. And the back side is all same stuff in another language. What we got in the bottom of this? We have a charge brick and about a six foot long cable. It's USB micro USB, not USB C. It's micro USB. Um, that comes out the bottom. That's USB A. It is five watt out, one app out. It says Amazon right on it. Uh, Amazon. Does Amazon own Blink? I do not know. So that powers this box. Yeah, that powers this box. And they give you no cord to charge this because this is USB C. Let me make sure it's just USB C again. Yeah, USB C. So there's nothing to charge this. So let's. Hope it's already charged and the battery lasts two years, I guess. Now everybody should have a USB-C by now, especially since iPhone just switched over. So let's go ahead and get my phone, which I have misplaced. I don't do editing on my videos really, so I'm just gonna let that go while I get my phone and a power bank to see if I can power that stuff. doing it on Android. Downloaded the Blink Home. I'm actually going to show you what it looks like at the current moment. By the time you watch this, it'll probably be a different video. That's what it looks like right now, at least on uh, Android. I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to have to make an account because I'm Google. I'm going to go ahead and plug this other thing in. I got power bank. Um, definitely more voltage than what that brick was, so it should be enough. Let's go ahead and plug that in. I'm going to make an account, I guess. Create an account. United States. Um, East Coast, sure. Email address. Let's type that in. Email address. That just wants a password. Retype the password. Passwords must match. Passwords do match. Create account. Blink. Okay, send a verification to my email. Good. Uh, got the email already? Cool. Gives me a code. Copy the code. Go back in and paste the code. Verify. And we're in. Uh, it wants me a phone number. Put my phone number in. It's sending me a text now. You heard how quick that came. Didn't have to wait too long. I hate these companies where you gotta wait all day for that stuff. Went ahead and verified. Uh, blink and sure, let's link them. Amazon must own Blink and. I'm sure Blink does not own Amazon. I'm already... I don't quite know that sign-in. 
because I'm signing into my Amazon. Let's hope it does it first round. There was a problem. Um, can we just, yeah, we could skip that for now. So we're skipping the linking process right now. Allow notifications. We already have one, so let's go ahead and push the plus button. Welcome to Blink. Press, okay, got it. Start the sync module if you have a wireless camera. Let's let's start with the sync. It wants to scan a code. Oh, code's right on the back. See the little code? Gotta scan that with my phone. Choose a system for your camera. Let's go ahead and do a new system. Name your system. Uh, Blink182. Blink182, yeah. I wonder how many other people have done that. Okay, Blinking Blue. Yes. Please enable Wi Fi to continue. Okay, turn it on my Wi Fi. I'm going to wait for it to connect at the top of my Wi Fi before I push continue. I'm on my 5 gigahertz now. Okay, there we go. Connect. Um, mine's hurts when I poop. Type in my password. For my internet, my house internet. Now this is a two point, the two gigahertz band. I actually just did a camera, indoor camera for animals that does five gigahertz band, which uh, it's 2K and it does really well. Check that out on my channel. It's made my DZ and then I got another one. Same thing from Vroom something? I don't know, but they're, they're pretty cool cameras for the price too. They're only $25 and they auto track you and everything. It's really cool. Great for dogs if you're it's updating the module. Great for your animals if you wanna play around with them while you're at work or if you need to see something and a stationary camera isn't good enough, this will actually let you look around. 360 view, up and down, clear around, very nice. Okay, hit a sync to Blink 182. It's online, nothing's blinking. Let's go ahead and sync a wireless camera. It's saying that there's a code on this too. Turn it on the device or quick start guide. Oh, you gotta keep the quick start guide? Is there a... Or the device serial number? I don't like the scratches on this bottom part. There is no serial number attached on this thing. So you have to keep this manual. Is it telling me... Is it going to tell me anything in English? That'd be nice. <laughs> no, that's not English. What the heck? I keep flipping it like it's... That's not English either. Where the heck is the English? Okay. Capture the QR code printed on the device in the Quick Start Guide. And the, well, that's probably the Quick Start Guide, but... Or enter the device serial number manually. Is the serial number on the box? I could see that. Serial. Sorry, guys. I'm like bapped out right there. Guess this is why you make a video. Find QR code or serial number. No. Oh, you gotta tear apart. How do you tear apart? Oh, I gotta stick something in there. I got anything that'll stick in there? I got a knife, which has a weird, there it is, that thing. Guess I gotta go get that. I never even thought of tearing it apart. USB-C on the bottom, I thought you plug it in. Okay, got a screwdriver. 
can't believe I was that dumbfounded. That's where the two batteries go. You telling me it'll go two years with just two cheapo energizer batteries in there. So that's to plug it in to use it full time. Lithium on lithium on lithium ion batteries only. Let's go ahead and get them two batteries out. I put them back away, so now I gotta get them back out. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in because how else will it kick on if I don't have a there's no spring. Okay. Why didn't it just show me that picture in the first place? Now we can shut this light back off. Oh. Disarmed. My camera is disarmed. Adding it. My leg fell asleep. Can you guys see that? Barely. Oh, don't flip over. Looking for your camera. Oh, it's doing something. Still looking. One moment. Wait, I can see it. Can't you see it? Wave. What to avoid? The sun, the sky. Just in, avoid everything that's outside, it's saying. Do I have to hit a button on this? There's a reset button. Should I try it? Oh, it's updating. Guess I better not. Updating firmware. Is a cute little thing. It's cool. It still uses the old batteries. Now, um, I probably wouldn't use rechargeables in here. Do whatever you want, because I use rechargeables in other devices. Um, that are kind of like this that sit a really long time but if you put a rechargeable next to a brand new I'm a Duracell man right next to a Duracell battery let them sit there for a year in a year that rechargeable battery is not going to have a full charge and that Duracell that is um, non-rechargeable will still be charged so um, they probably won't last as long I'm going to have to charge them more often which could cut the bill down Person detection, all the blah blah blah, cloud storage. What does it mean by armed? Tap here to view live access of this camera. Ooh. Why does it look like that? Can you guys see like the lines in it? Okay, we're just gonna let look at the ceiling. Can you guys see all them lines? Hey, I was looking at that. Look at these lines. At the top there, at the bottom as I move around it does different stuff. Okay, I can save that video, mute it. Let's go to device settings. In general settings, I can rename it. Battery level's okay. No expansion pack. Geez, look at that expansion pack. You can put poor batteries in there. Increase clip length. Shop battery expansion packs. Not gonna do that, just kinda going over. Hey, I was looking at your settings. When recording, you can shut the status LED off. Or when it's recording, it stays on. Signal strength is perfect. Connection to sync module, perfect. Current temperature, 80. Um, it's 73 in the house right now, so it's off just a little bit. Motion setting, motion detection on and off. Motion recording types, all motion or only when there's a person. Free, 
free trial, so that must be added to a subscription plan. Motion sensitivity, you can move it up, down. Uh, if you've got tree branches, you probably want to turn it a little bit down. you got your zones. Oh, I like it. It's going to take a picture, and then you can move your zones. Cool. Look at that. It's just squares. Squares are alright. This is a cheap, free version. Uh, if I had Google, I could actually move the lines and... Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's got squares inside of it. So if I do this, I go like that. It kind of... Can you guys see that? It kind of works. Privacy zones. Can I make the privacy zones? Privacy zones are squares. Retrigger time. Basically, how much time do you want in between it triggering before it triggers again? I like that's 10 seconds because most of my Googles are 30 seconds. You can go clear up to 60 seconds. That's it under there. Video clip length, 5 seconds. Clear up to 60 seconds, max length. Video quality, higher video quality, reduced battery life, 3 megabits a second, 2 megabits a second, or 500. Let's put on max, see if it fixes any of these issues. End clip early if motion stops. I that's all right. Night vision. Oh, it has night vision. Nice. IR intensity. Camera capture. Auto update thumbnail. Audio. Just the speaker up and down, which I did hear it was working. Video recording, audio, privacy zones. I already looked at that. That's it. Let's let's activate it. What activate? I bet I got dis oh we arm it. So if you arm it, say you left the house. I already click. So now if there's a motion. Oh, I got the motion. I didn't get the motion at all. I got it in my kitchen though, from my Google. <laughs> Sync module offline. Why are you offline? And now you're back online. I'm going to actually exit out of here. We waited the five second or ten seconds in between. Now let's put motion. Motion detected at your. I probably would have to name that to understand what I was just looking at. Felt a little bit delayed. For a little bit delayed. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Okay, let's go look at the clips. Your account has been upgraded. Feels like they're just trying to sell me a bunch of stuff. But look at the weirdness. You see that? It just got me again. Yeah, that, something's wrong with this thing. It looks like it'll delete that after 30 days. Let's, uh, I was going to try something. Oh, I was, so if this is unplugged, it doesn't, I'm going to disarm it before it. Freaks out over everything. Wonder how many modules can be synced up to just this. So I'm gonna unplug it. See if I can connect. Do I have to have that thing? Maybe that's why that lasts forever. It Bluetooths to this, which really makes a delay. Will it let me look at it? No. So if the power was to go out, let's see how long it takes for it to get back on. 
and actually functioning. I would say when both lights are solid, give it about another five seconds so it connects to that. Oh, it's already connected to the the blink. I think that's what the blue is. Doesn't really tell you anything in the manual. It just says follow the steps on the app. Blinking. Blinking, blinking, blinking. Still blinking. Solid. Let's see if it gives me a video. Got my hand above it. I also have fiber internet and it's almost a gig speed. It should be uh, plenty fast. Okay, I'm going to close the app. Restart it. Blink has detected. No, I think that's an old notification. And you know what's nice? The batteries are charged in this thing. Sometimes I get a device, I'm like, hmm, are they charged or not? in no rush to give us video it says online maybe I'm just not patient enough okay now let's make sure I can check it outside of the house I'm gonna sh shut my Wi-Fi off on this live view failed I should be able to kick back on I am on my phone's internet now okay and there was the delay not too bad of a delay but I think notifications after it's been sleeping a little bit maybe just a little bit delayed we'll have to check them out also took a long time for that thing to sync everything up to where the app would be working again We'll test it for a while and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching.